Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick was in Fox 4 Studios this afternoon talking about his priorities. One of them is SBC 6. That Alex mentioned the so-called bathroom bill. I asked the Lieutenant Governor if President Trump's move yesterday repealing the Obama directive makes SB 6 unnecessary. No, in fact, uh, and I agree with what uh, President Trump did yesterday. We fought and defeated Obama on that issue. You know, Texas fought that issue and stopped him in court, uh, and we stopped Fort Worth as well. Uh, what Jeff Sessions said, it's, it should be a state issue. And that's what Trump told me this summer when I was with him and talked about this issue. He said, I'm going to leave it to the states. And so we need a policy. And the reason we need a policy is because we, out of our 1,200 school districts and our 8,500 schools, unfortunately, we will have some people who will go off on their own, like Fort Worth and now Dripping Springs. And here's the bottom line. Uh, overwhelming majority of parents, black, white, and brown, Republican, Democrat, do not want their teenage children showering with teenagers of the opposite sex. It's really that simple. You wouldn't think we'd have to pass that law. Uh, so we just want, our bill simply says that no school district can enforce a policy that boys and girls share showers, locker rooms, and bathrooms. It's simple. So you think what President Trump, I heard President Trump say that's a local issue, and you took local yesterday to mean state and not school well, district by what, school district. Well, I don't know what he meant as local, but Jeff Sessions says it's a state uh, or local issue, you know, state governments, local governments. And the truth is, I, I wish local schools and the truth you know, look here's the bottom line the school districts have been dealing with this issue forever it's, it's a very there. very very small number mm -hmm. of students and our bill encourages them to make private accommodations which they have always done you know the school districts deal with a lot of kids with a lot of issues mm -hmm. um, however when you have school districts go out on their own, like Fort Worth, where the parents had no say, no school board vote, and the same thing in Dripping Springs, then the state steps in. It's in the news locally here, a girl wrestler, uh, born biologically a girl, transitioning to be a boy, taking yes. testosterone, steroid treatment, right. is in the state championships women's wrestling, right. wants to wrestle boys, the, the gender on birth certificate requires her to wrestle as a girl, and it just seems like it's messy. You know, you want to be understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to help everybody, and, and particularly kids. Um, uh, but there have to be some policies. Let's talk about the border. Yes. Uh, House Speaker Paul Ryan was on the border, and I got the impression, you know, he, he'd never been there because right. he said he wanted to see it with his own eyes. Is he not alone? Does Washington get what's happening no, on the border? they do not. Here's the reason we need border security and a wall. Between June of 2011 and January of this year, we put in our jails in Texas uh, over 212,000 criminal aliens, 212,000. We charged them with 566,000 crimes, including about 500 kidnappings, over 1,000 murders, 6,000 sexual assaults, 67,000 drug offenses, 60,000 um, uh, assaults, 8,000 uh, gun crimes. I mean, I, I want people to focus on this. When I, when I hear, uh, you know, people say, well, there's no, uh, you know, crime, 212,000 people just in Texas charged with almost 600,000 crimes. I don't know how you have seen or perceived the Congress people, congressional people going back to their home districts. Yes. It's been rugged. <laughs> have you seen any of that or do you yes. expect to see some of that? Yes, yourself? great question. Um, I have not had protesters that I can remember, maybe one or two people with a sign somewhere until this year. So I was dedicating a police building down in Houston not long ago, and it was an outside event. We had protesters. Uh, I was in uh, Williamson County, the senior community. We had senior protesters. And last week, I was in Tarrant County at the Lincoln Reagan Day dinner, and there were about 300 protesters outside. Not all, but many are obviously organized. Not all, but many are organized. And, and I'm fine with, look, people have a right to express their voice, but don't shout down people. And what I'm seeing in Congress, why would a congressman go have a meeting when he's shouted down and can't even talk? So when you take the protest to that level, um, that, that makes it difficult. Lieutenant Governor Dan yes, Patrick, I know you've got pleasure. other stops to make Thank safe you. travels. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much.